Hi, I'm Chef Matt from the Goldring Center for Culinary Medicine at Tulane University. As part of our knife skill series, I'm going to show you how to cut an onion three different ways. Today we'll be slicing juliennes, cutting small and medium dices, and I'm going to be going over the best ways to use all of these cuts. An onion has two different sides to it. The top, which is known as the stem, and the bottom, which is also known as the root. Uh, you'll notice the difference because the root has tiny hairs to it. The part that makes you cry is in the root, and those are called the sulfuric compounds. So when we're cutting, we try to keep the root intact for as long as we can because the highest concentration is in there and we don't want to feel that big sting while cutting. You can store onions in the fridge to reduce that sting, but onions do last the longest at room temp, stored in a cool dry place. The first thing you're going to want to do is to cut the stem. Then you can kind of peel back some of the skin that might be in the way of cutting the rest into an equal portion half. Um, making sure that the root is on each side intact because that'll keep from preventing the onion from sliding and falling apart while we cut, which makes for even slices and a time saver. From there, you can go ahead and peel off the rest of any skins that were still in the way. And if you notice, an onion has a lot of natural lines to it, which provides a really nice grid um, and keeping even julienne slices. So you're going to want to go in about two thirds of the way in from the root making straight cuts all the way down, straight to the board, following that curve, following those natural lines that are on the onion, and making sure that you keep that claw grip so that your knuckles are pointed outwards and your fingertips are in, which prevents um, a lot of cuts from happening in the kitchen. After all of the strips have then been cut, then you turn the onion to where the root is in the palm of your hand and then you push forward and pull back and create this small dice cutting vertically again just like you were. A way to get all of the use out of your onion is to go ahead and make more slices um, right there at that root and to maximize as much of the onion that you can utilize as possible to reduce your waste. So just like we did uh, earlier with the other side of the onion. With this side, we're gonna go ahead and make those julienne slices all the way across down. And so for this part, you have the option of leaving the root on, which really provides a lot of stability during this uh, slicing. And you can definitely slice all the way across the onion without having to rotate it. But for me personally, when it, my wrist starts to get a little um, stiff, I go ahead and turn the onion so that um, the other side makes it more easy for me to slice through. After we have those slices, we can rotate again and cut off the portion of the root. And then we're left with our julienne slices that are nice and even and provide a really nice utilization for salads. A couple of ways you can easily use these new skills you just acquired is to maybe make slices for fajitas, um, throw them in a sandwich, maybe put them in a stir fry, or maybe roast some of those onions. And a great way to utilize those dices that we learned is to throw them into sautés, stews, soups, and even stir fries as well. Ready to get cooking? Check out our website for more lesson videos and recipes at goldringcenter.tulane.edu.